Hello, you may all be wondering, Halloween, what is Berserk and the Band of the Hawk like? And more importantly, what is it like on PC? Because we've seen loads and loads of footage of the PS4 version, but not necessarily the PC version yet. So what I'm going to do initially is show off the graphical options. I, I know I don't normally do this in, in sort of videos, but this is quite important for this one, I think. So, Now, I'm actually quite impressed. There's a fairly decent sort of selection here. You've got your full screen on or off, blah, blah, blah. Resolution is, again, fairly obvious. It does have 4K support, so if you wanted to downsample into 4K, you, you can, or if you've got a 4K ready screen presumably. Uh, V-Sync and Movie Playback are pretty obvious as well. Now the quality is actually quite nice, we've got loads and loads of different things. we got crowd density for the battles, texture filtering, particles, environment, um, reflections, dynamic shadows, uh, grass on or off, light shafts on or off, depth of field, there's a blur there, AA. The AA doesn't let you choose up to how many times, but hey, it's not bad for a port as far as it goes, you actually got an option. And uh, AO, outline effect, which is like the sort of character outlines on the characters. Well, duh. Okay, so I'm going to quickly jump into the game and show you. I've made a new save for this, just to show you what this is about. I'm going to play through the tutorial stage, so you can see how that works. And then I'm going to show you the very, very first stage. The tutorials, as you can see, the load times are pretty much nil on the PC version, which is nice. As you can see, it's all in Japanese. And with subtitles. The voice actors from the show reprise their role, which is kind of nice. Now, this is a very typical Warriors game. If you've ever played a Warriors game before now, you will recognize the gameplay. By Warriors game, I mean Dynasty Warriors. Um, at least they're called Musou games, I think, in Japan. So, the actual style of them are very, very, normally very similar. And it kind of works for a Berserk title, to be honest. The whole hack and slash thing. It's, it's similar enough to the PS2 game, but with, honestly, with slightly more accessible sort of fighting, I think. The PS2 one I played can be a bit tricky at times. In the sense that it, there's a lot of uh, slowness to it. Yay! Now this is a tutorial stage, so we're in the eclipse right now, as you, as you can probably tell. Anyone who doesn't know the Berserk story, this might look very, very strange to you, but... Yeah. The environments are really nice, actually, from what I've seen so far. Graphically, it's quite impressive. It definitely shows its PS3 origins, but even still, it's, it's, nice, it's a nice enough looking game. Rude. We're not really a snack either, so this is talking about the different gauges. Uh, in this case, the frenzy one. When we build up enough murder, we can go into the high murder mode and basically start dismembering people en masse, which is quite cool. It's gorier than any of the other um, Warriors style games I've ever played. Like Hyrule Warriors, for example, does not have this level of gore. Neither does Dynasty Warriors. I haven't played many of the others. I haven't played like One Piece Warrior or anything like that, so I, I can't vouch for those, but this is certainly reasonably gory. Now there's different, there's all sorts of different combos you can do. We're reasonably limited to what we've got at the moment, but uh, you have your main swing with X, like so. I'd recommend playing this with a controller, by the way. I haven't tried with keyboard and mouse, but the, normally the controls are quite garbage. Um, I've got an Xbox controller plugged in, for example. We have a block button. We can strafe. We can we can block and strafe and stuff. You can also dash mid combo to interrupt your uh, your combo mid flow to allow you for more attacks. That kind of thing. It's it's, again, it's nothing mind-blowing. If you've ever played one Warriors game, this shouldn't be too surprising for you. But if you like this, here we go, the Frenzy mode. If you like this kind of thing, this will normally be right up your street. I mean, I like the Warriors game, so let's slicey people to pieces. We can actually get some dismemberment going. Let's have a look. I don't know. Might get lucky. Might have some body parts start flying. I'm not sure if that unlocks until we get the next bit, actually. Uh, lock on to the big boss monster, sure, why not? This is sort of showing you what the regular burlier monsters start to look like. This guy is the sort of captain of the area. Uh, he's not much of a threat either. Basically, for Warriors games, only the captains, at least on normal mode, only the captains are really any sort of threat. Everyone else is just fodder that sort of just gets your combo going. The captains, you kind of got to strafe around, block, dodge, that kind of thing. Oh look, there's the god hand. Hand. Hand hand? Yeah. Oh, I'm rolling with hand hands, that'll do. Like presentation wise, as a fan of the series, this is actually quite cool. They're not there's none of the absolutely insane monsters in the eclipse like you see in the show or the manga. Like the um Oh we, we got we got frenzy mode again. Now it's gonna show us the uh, the death blow obliteration. Yeah, so when we're in frenzy mode we can like properly murder folks. And obliteration makes we basically cut them in half. And we should start seeing this here. There we go, body parts start flying, heads come off. Yeah, yeah. And we get the ah, they get the finishing move as well there. So I'll see if I can show you some more. Some more dismemberment. 
splat, splat, splat. Like these poor traps. And then we death blow them. Nasty. Lots of uh, body bits all over the place. So, some more captains have showed up to be absolutely destroyed. And as you see, the game holds a steady frame rate with absolutely no problems. Smash. Performance-wise, sometimes these, uh, like, these Koei games can be a bit, eh. But, I haven't had any problems with this one so far. What he said. Now I can only comment on what I've seen so far. Um, that was the tutorial stage. Sorry to talk over people. That was the tutorial stage. Now it takes us to the actual prologue, sort of main, main sort of intro stage, I suppose. It intersplices it with some of the um, some of the anime um, movie stuff, which is quite nice actually. It's, it's reasonably well animated. It looks nice. A lot of CGI, but you know. Presentation's nice anyway. I'll let's play. Tokiwa Ranse. Midland Oakok to Tuda Tekokwa. Kakunen Nimo Yobu Nagaki Tataka Yokuri Hirome Okay, this is sort of the uh, setup for the game. Now, we don't have any Baylets, um, although this is how we can earn them. Baylets kind of uh, challenges. Um, in the series, there's something else entirely, but in this is a little challenge you can do to unlock extra stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, our allies are all, like, nameless mooks, so I assume they're all going to be completely screwed. Anyway, let's get the battle going. Again, if you've ever played a Warriors game before, this is very, very, uh, standard. Right, let's get our murder hat on. Operating Guts. Operating Guts, <laughs> kind of, yeah, it sounds like we're playing a medical game. Anyway. So what we want to be doing is getting the lieutenants out of the way first of all. Excuse me, come through. As you can see, these guys, like I said, they're just fodder. I believe on difficulties above normal, they will actually actively try and punk you. But here, they're just... I think they'll do stuff if you wait long enough, but eh. Again, if you ever watched the movies or read the manga, seen the, you know, seen the show, etc, etc, there's a lot of like flavor text and stuff that's really fun around here. Cool, we have slain this man, so we need to kill the next uh, officer that's around, which is uh, that way. The basics, and I can't lock onto these guys for whatever reason, so... Oh! I like the stabby stabby move, it's very efficient. We actually have slightly less repertoire moves now in the younger Guts' form here, but it uh, doesn't matter. We're still an efficient murdering machine. As you can see, this massive like siege tower of ours is what we need to protect, so we need to cleave our way through these assholes. Yay, we leveled up. Um, there is a leveling RPG system in this. Uh, again, just like any Warriors game, the more you level up, the more stuff you unlock, as you can see here. Um, you also get like more stats, you get... Uh, uh, what's this thing? What else it locks? It makes you, it makes you do more damage. You can take more. You can take more damage. That kind of thing. Again, nothing to write home about. But still, if you like uh, like leveling up mechanics just because, which I, I do, love me a good leveling system. It's nice to have. It means all this want of slaughter is actually worth doing. So, all right, we're looking for the base lieutenant, which is over here. Now, what I'm going to do is charge this attack and just whoosh, cleave my way through. Let's get our murder on. Let's turn around and get our murder on here. Yeah. 
Oh, look at all these dudes just right for the slaughter. Body parts flying, heads coming off. It's all good. Right. Oh yeah, we we're supposed to be killing this lieutenant guy. I was supposed to be using my slaughter meter to kill the lieutenant, but I got distracted by killing dudes. He got sparked out. That's sort of nice. And we got a bailer for doing that. It's all good. I believe we'll get a little tutorial here in a second telling us how we can find... Here we go. Find more about the bailers. So, basically they unlock pictures and we can go into our, like, pause menu and discover what we need to do. In this case, destroy all the catapults before the battering ram is destroyed, defeat the enemy garrison commander, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes you won't be able to do them all in the first run through, you have to come back and sort them out. But hey. Now we need to wait for our gigantic siege tower to get into place. Ooh, splat. Just while I wasn't under that. Cool. These guys are trying to stop us, but you know, kind of hopeless really. I am, I am honestly a sucker for these kind of games. I really do like the sort of just run in slash gameplay. It's just kind of, I wouldn't say relaxing, but just kind of comfy, you know? I liked Hyrule Warriors for the same reason. And this, that was just this with a Zelda skin. Slashy slashy. Now we lock onto this guy because he's pretty he's pretty hench, so we can actually strafe around him. When we get a successful strafe, we get sort of dash lines up here. But he isn't going to stand much of a chance here, so we should slaughter him. Now, from what I gather, the game covers the Golden Age arc, which is this one, all the way up to um, the sort of current, before the boat arc, I, sus I should say, which is, uh, um, so any f fans of the series will know what I mean there, which is a lot of chapters, like 300 odd chapters of the... Uh, manga. However, it does skip a few. Some some which, like, uh, if I remember what it's called, the Lost Children arc, I think it's called. Um, where there's a lot of, probably, stuff that would get a video game banned in there, so I can kind of see why they skipped it. Again, so you can do lots and lots of gore, but, like, the more, sort of, unsavory content you can't do, which, again, I can perfectly understand that position on that. It's not, uh, yay, capture the base. Not an easy decision to make, but sometimes you just gotta do what won't get your game banned in certain countries, I suppose. Right, we need to slay these three three assholes. Now these bow guys will shoot at us, so we need to quickly clear through them. Might as well power up and go to frenzy. Again, just like the PS2 game, the, the frenzy meter does you know gives you the opportunity to go like crazy. Let's slaughter our way to this Midlands officer here. If I remember right as well. Berserk is set in some sort of weird alternate reality um, Britain, I think. Nice. Efficient murder right there. Right. Coming through. There's another officer there. We need to actually start behaving ourselves. Otherwise we can find ourselves in a bit of trouble. Nice. That's another, another guy down. Again, steady frame rate the entire way through, which is absolutely nice. I'm not entirely sure what the PS4 version is like. Um, I would only can only, only assume it's um, going to be 60 FPS as well. And there's no reason it not to be. It is a it is an upgraded PS3 game after all, from what I understand. Anyway, could be could be wrong on that. Oi! You just kicked me down those stairs. Absolutely not. Pardon me, sir. Just need to brutalize you in front of all your men. As long as you're okay with that, we're going to be dandy. So let's just stick that in you right there. And slam you into your men over there. What's it? Come here. Come here. Oh, smash you. Nice. They have like a guard meter, but at, th at this point in time, they're not going to be able to sort of stand up to me. Gentlemen. Oh, dear. It's entire tools again, Mother. All right, where do I need to go? Excellent. And this is kind of how the mission structure tends to go. You go from place to place, capture base to base, and slaughter any objectives that come up while protecting your allies. Now, in this mission, my allies didn't really need much of a hand, so I wasn't doing too too much stuff there. So. I mean, capturing additional bases is always nice. Let's go get this one. I just love the idea of the sheer amount of dudes on screen at once. You can just slaughter. It's just great. Ooh. 
Go, base captured. Pick up the shiny thing. Gold in this case. Excellent. I hope this video gives you sort of a rough idea of not only how the like game works, but how it runs on PC as well, so. So I was curious, because it's always a bit of a worry when, uh, especially with these, they haven't had the best track record with their PC ports. I know Attack on Titan was a really good one, but some of the previous ports, like the Dragon, Dragon Age, no, sorry, the Dragon Quest Heroes one was a bit rough, so. And it was actually better buying that on the console than it was anywhere else. Right, let's go get this catapult sorted. She's up here somewhere. There we go. There's an officer around here as well, so we just want to start attacking this and get their attention. Like so. Uh, there we go, and let's give it a good old smashing. Excellent. Cool. Now again, we don't have to necessarily go straight away for the objectives. Uh, I'm doing so here for the sake of the video, I suppose. Just so, hope you don't bore you all to tears. Hooray! So now the battering ram is all in and our main forces can get in. Excellent. We're well on our way for winning the battle. The morale gauge is basically explaining that the better you do, the better your troops do, the easier it is to capture things. The worse you do, the more people you lose, the harder. Etc, etc. Again, pretty staple thing in the Warrior series. Right then. We get a lovely uh, little cutscene. Eh? Again, directly from the movie. I always like stuff taken from movies like this, it's great. I'm a sucker for this. Bad CGI and all. Yeah, he's very angry. Luckily, we're gonna have to go sort him out. He's basically the boss of the stage. He's gonna be the slightly tougher one to deal with. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's only the officers and the bosses that you really gotta worry about. Speaking of, gentlemen, good to see you. Let's hold down the charge, attack, and smash. Let's get the officer and smash him into his men there. Good times. Where are you, Mr. Officer? Trying desperately to attack me. Just dash around you. Oops. No, don't mind. Alright, so we're in like a, a ambushy thing here. Basically, kill a hundred dudes until the big dude turns up, and then kill the big dude. That's how uh, these sort of gated off areas tend to work. I don't think for guts that'll be anywhere near a problem. Graphically, I'm impressed. Like, there's lots of like helmets going flying, swords being dropped, which is always nice. I mean, bodies disappear all over the place as well, but hey. Okay, so we've got still got loads to do. Oh, hey, gentlemen. Let's just start decapitating left, right, and oh god, oh what a mess. Oh dear. Shocking. Lovely. Yoink. And we got the officer. There he is. Look at that, he's trying to impress not wearing a helmet in battle. Doesn't sound like a good idea to me, sir. Personally, I think you should protect your noggin, but hey. Now, he's actually attacking me back, but I don't actually ignore his attacks. He's not staggering me or anything. I'm gonna pick him up again. Flat. There we go. And now we can progress to the end area. この腰抜け<笑> There we go, this is the boss dude. Now, he's actually a reasonably challenging opponent. So, preferably don't want to be in front of him the entire time. And it's telling you there how to dodge and sort of use the quick step to your advantage. What we're going to do is slaughter this fool. Oh, 
Man, he's angry. Who did this to me last time? Right. Again, preferably don't want to be in front of those huge swings of his, so let's try and avoid that if possible. And hopefully you can see what I mean when I like say that the basically the, the fodder don't matter and it's just these guys and the the captains more than anything. So if that's the kind of thing that bothers you, like regular dudes being a bit usless, then something to be aware of. He yields. Yeah, good luck with that. You're gonna get a very satisfying little uh, FMV in a second, showing you what happens to him. What we'll, what we'll do? We'll power up and just massacre him. He did. All right, victory for us. Alright, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got an idea of how the, sort of the PC version looks and runs, etc, etc. Uh, TLDR, which is a bit late for here really, is it runs fine. It looks fine. Um, it plays really nicely. It's it's another Warriors game. If you've ever played you played one, you played them all. In this case, the skin is Berserk. If you happen to like Berserk and happen to like Warriors, then you'll probably enjoy this. So, hey. Thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to chuck the intro to the game on after this, just so you can sort of see, because it looks kind of cool. And that's it for me. Till next time.